What's going on everybody? Today I just want to make a video of five things I really love about my Infiniti G35S. So I've owned the car for a couple months now, two or three months, and I feel like this has been long enough for me to find the things I love and hate about the car. I don't have a lot of things I dislike about it, but that's going to be in another video that's probably going to come out next week. So to start off, I absolutely love the look of this car. The exterior really has been timeless and it's been like this since 2007 and I don't think it'll ever grow old. The sporty look of it, the body lines, everything just come together so well to make a 2007 to 2013 car look amazing still in 2020. So the next thing I love about this car is the huge aftermarket support it has behind it. If anything goes wrong or if you want to modify it in any way, there is a wide selection of any category from exhaust to intakes to actual body modifications such as bumpers, side skirting, all of that. The aftermarket behind this car is absolutely massive, mostly because it shares parts with two of the other most famous JDM cars, which is the 350 and 370Z. So having that as a platform, because they do share the exact same platform, really makes the aftermarket for this massive. That's four cars in total that share a lot of parts, the 350, 370, G35, and G37. Having all of that being able to put together makes the category very wide. And you can pick a lot of different parts that you like and mix and match them with pretty much straight bolt-on parts. Next, the third thing I absolutely love about this car is the exhaust note. The VQ in itself is a beautiful note that you either love or hate. I personally love them. A lot of people sound, say they sound like the trombones, but I believe it's very exotic and not many cars would be able to pull them off, except this one really makes it sound very nice. So adding exhaust to it and spicing that exhaust note up just makes it that much better. You don't need to change it much with the exhaust the stock sound is pretty good, but a lot of people just want to make them louder, which is exactly what I did. So the rear end from the wide stance to the dual exhaust all the way to the GTR Skyline-esque taillights really make the car look sporty from the back end and driving behind it you can tell it is a very beautiful car. The side profile of it is the same way. The short back end and the long front end really make it look like a fast sports car as much as it is a luxury car in total. It's just a beautiful car looking from the outside and from the sport brakes to all the other qualities of this car. It's just a beautiful car all around. The next thing about this car is the interior. For a 2009, it is still stunning. With the two-tone accents, the color I have is the rock gray, I believe it is, something around that line. It is beautiful. The beige, I'm not a, too much of a fan of, but the black and black I am, and the graphite or rock, I am also a fan of, just because it is very hard to get dirty, and it barely shows, but the rest of the interior is absolutely stunning still. It doesn't look as outdated as it should be. The dash is beautiful in at night. The colors all accent itself very well. The blue and red are not too aggressive and it's just nice to look at. But the seats are one of the most comfortable seats you'll sit in and a lot of people believe that's the, a reason alone to upgrade from the G35 to the G37. With the memory bolstering, which changes the bolster on the, the seat and the sorry, your thighs and your back. It is a beautiful interior and comfortable at the same time, and I honestly don't get tired of sitting in it for too long. The fifth thing about this car that I absolutely love is the driving experience in itself. Infiniti set out to be a luxury sport coupe or sedan for this model, and it really shows and it does its part well. So the G37 was made to compete against the BMW 3 Series and the Audi A4, which, they were pretty close neck and neck, but I believe the other two took the competition. But this car was made to be a luxury and sports car, which it did do its part. Driving it is extremely fun because it does have the power of 330 horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque behind it. It's fun to drive, it is fast, but it's also luxurious and comfortable to sit in. The seats are amazingly comfortable, the drive is smooth, and it's just powerful enough to make bring a smile to your face. It's fun to drive as well as it is comfortable. 
So I actually forgot to film an outro for this video, so I'm just going to do that now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like. It helps me and the channel out quite a bit. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and turn notifications on. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.